get lifted by the Father so he can bless you, so you can bless others. All glory be given to Yah for he is worthy. And people would say I'm being kind of harsh on that, family. So how was your weekend? All glory be given to God for he is a good God. I've been trying my best to get here in the sanctuary, family. It's been it's been a minute since you've seen me last. And I've been trying really, 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 really hard, family. I mean real hard to get back in the sanctuary, to get back to some to some ministering, to some good preaching, to some good teaching, to some good ministering, some good love, some good gospeling of the spirits, to sharpen you and to strengthen you. With all of his knowledge, with all of his wisdom, through all of his glory, for he is a worthy God. All glory be given to Yah, the Holy One of Israel, for he is worthy. Now, and I wanted to finish off too, family, because we were almost finished with the Acts of Paul the Apostle. And I'm going to just get caught up real quick. It's just so much more that we have to pour into this week. It's a lot, family. There's just so much, family, and as I look at each and every day, and I know this guy, I know that I got this written down on another piece of paper, but I want to ask you here today, what are the things in your life that you ask Yah for and he gives it to you immediately? I want to know of all those things, family, that if you really notice this about your life, is some things that you ask Yah for and he gives those things to you immediately. I want to know what all of those things are, family, in your life. I want you to tell me about them because I'm trying to figure out all mine too because I know that it's times when I ask him for something and he'll give it to me right away with no delay, family. What are those things that's in your life I'm asking you? Okay, no sign, no date. We didn't do that one. Do that one. So give your brother a quick hot second before I can find myself, because the last time we were here, we were here at January 31st, 2009. Today is February the 3rd, I believe, family. It could be like February 3rd or the 4th. But it's it's Monday, the beginning of the week. Okay, we did those signed and okay, we we caught up over here, family. We we looking like we real caught up. So let's go ahead and get into preaching and lessons for tonight, family. All glory be given to Yah. I hope you I hope you had a peaceful, rest filled Sabbath, family. You know your brother and life, family. I'm trying my best to apply all of these things, family. To the most joyous of my spirit to do all these things that I put forth here and I and I teach you about and I preach over and I gospel to my your spirit about these things. I'm trying to do every single one of these things, family, to my best ability in life, family. With the power and the strength that your father gives me, I'm trying to do all of these things and live by them and cherish them and cherish them, family. Like they mean every single thing to me that's the most valuable thing that anybody could ever own for it has come from my father. So it means everything to me, family. So we're not just sitting here talking about these things. We are and we preaching on them and everything like that, but we're doing them too, family. Okay, now... Did we go over it? I think we did go over this. We did go over this. Why does y'all want you to go to church? And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works. That's why he wants you to go to church. He wants you to go to church. Why do he want you to go to church, Jehosa? Because when you go to church, you're supposed to be around your brothers and sisters and they give you love. That same love is supposed to carry you over all week long of all your good deeds, all your good deeds in your lifetime, making you more stronger of a person in Yah, the Lord of hosts, to do his will, the love that you need to make it through all these dark days. He wants you to be a symbol to stir you up with love inside of your heart. 
why he wants you to go to the temple. Now, they called it the temple. We call it church. Now, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as in the manner of some, but exhorting one another. And so the manner, as you see, the day approaching. I, I believe we, we talked about this because the older you get, the more you will go to church because your day is approaching to where the father will call you home. That's why you see all them old people in church like that. Faithfully. You see the other ones, family. You see the other ones, family. They don't even try to get up in there like that, family. And you've seen what the scriptures said, family. And they're not doing it, family. they just hanging all out and doing whatever they want to do, family. It's a damn shame, family. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as in the manner of some, but to exhort one another in such manner as you see the day approaching. So family, like you be all young now, you all young now, but you really love Yah. Is it is it that fact? Nah, younger people need to get into the house of the Lord and be there. You know what I'm saying? They need to get in the house because if they're not in there and they don't got no upbringing in it, what's the chances of their, them wanting to be in it? If they wasn't brought up with the values and the ethics and the morals. So let's move. I, I believe that we talked about that one last time. I feel very comfortable about that. And once more again, family, these are all lessons from the Bible. I'm not picking up. These are the acts of Paul the Apostle. I'm not making none of this stuff up. Okay, now let's get back into this. You can be forgiven with the new covenant, but the Holy Spirit also witnesses to us. For he had said... Before, see, a lot of people, they don't even think the Holy Spirit be talking or nothing. He ain't got no job. He ain't. Let me tell you this about the Holy Spirit. However you look at God, you better look at the Holy Spirit the same way. You, no, 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 no. Check this out. Check this out. You got to look at the Holy Spirit even more than that. You really have to because he ain't going to forgive you for that, family. He's just not going to forgive you for that, family. What I learned about the Holy Spirit is that he has a, he has a, uh, how can I put this? I don't want to say like attitude, but he has a personality and he ain't playing with nobody. However, your father is, he has that same attitude about people. However, God looks at people. He got the same attitude that God, when he looks, but he, he not playing with people like that, family. He not, family. Now, let's go back into what the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit said. Some people call him the Holy Ghost. This is what he said. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can be forgiven with the new covenant. But the Holy Spirit also witnesses to us, for he had said before, this is the covenant that I will make with them. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds. I will write them and add their sins and the lawlessness deeds, and I will remember no more. I told you, Yahshua, he over there in the backyard, just burying all my sin, family. I don't know about them other people up over there. I just don't know, family. Now, this covenant, now, for any, that's the Holy Spirit. He bearing witness against you here. Like, nah, that person right there, they know the difference between good and evil. They do know the difference. He said he's going to witness against you for what the Father said. I will put my laws in you. I will put my laws into their hearts and their minds. I will write them and add their sins and their lawless deeds. I will remember no more. So not only do you have the Holy Spirit, he, he, he like he witnessing against you, family. And that's what he said. Now, a lot of people would take that like, like Yah is talking. Like Yah has more power. I'm going to just let you know like this. You better have more respect because he's not going to forgive you um, on the disrespect. Whatever the attitude, whatever the attitude that God has, the Holy Spirit has the same ha attitude. He ain't playing with us. Look what he said. He said he will witness against you, knowing that when he came into this world, he brought all of everything that is righteous in this world, everything that is right in this world. Uh, we wouldn't even know nothing about it, family. So he's saying he's going to bear witness against you. And that comes directly from him. Or you would say that he didn't do his job. Or, or, or you would say what? Which one? He not doing his job or the father not doing his job? Which one is it? In this case, you 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 calling, him, you calling uh, the Yah and the Holy Spirit a lie. Okay, let's move to the next one. So like I said, family, Jesus up over there burying all my sins and... 
I asked your father today, I asked him, let me, okay, now I know we're supposed to be ashamed of our sins, but I want my sins so small, family. I want the sins so small, family. On a small level, family, I know, family, that I cannot be perfect, but I want to get this sin down to the size of a grape, family. At least, family, the size of a seed, family. We can do it, family. We can, family. Okay, yeah, I feel comfortable because we talked. We, 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 I feel comfortable. We talked about preached on that, that, all of it. I'm pretty sure because I, it's back to the testimony. I told you the law will not make you perfect, but anyone who rejects Moses' law dies with no mercy. On the testimony of two, the testimony of who, Jehosa, maybe the Holy Spirit and Jesus, maybe Jesus and the Father, they both gonna come testifying against you in court. Of how much worse punishment, and we talked about it. Yeah, okay, now, yeah, we, we did, we did, we talked. I could put my initials on all that. We covered all that. I thought we didn't do it. Maybe it was the backup if we didn't do it. Okay, now, I'm sorry, let's move to the next one. I thought we finished that one. Angel's job is to minister to us who is, who is the unseen force whispering in your ears. So I don't care what them people tell you, family. You either got good or you got evil whispering in your ear when you out there outside, family. You really do, family. You got evil. You got them evil demons up in your ear whispering stuff. What is they doing, family? What is they trying to do, family? I learn something every single day, family. You know what I'm saying? With, with the attacks from them and all kind of stuff, family. You know what I'm saying? Any way they can manifest themselves, family. I only think, I only think they got so many chances, family. But let's go back to this. Okay, now... Angel's job is to minister to us who is the unseen force whispering in your ears. So a lot of people, they wouldn't even believe nothing like that, family. They wouldn't be like, no, Jehovah, no, it's not. A demon didn't tell me. Uh, if, 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 if demons didn't say nothing to you, then why did your Lord tell you to cast all of that stuff out of your head? Guess you wasn't even listening to him then. They must have not listened. So as you go outside, family, you got these angels that's ministering to your spirit. Like people like me, when angels, when they minister to my spirit, I'm going to hold on to every good thing that that angel was sitting. I might start dancing out in the street, family. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying to you, family. You know what I'm saying? The angel get talking. I start dancing. I don't even have no headphones on. Now, the world that I explained to you, even though it's in black and white, and then when you go back out, you in the flesh and you dealing with these things. People will not understand that this is what they're dealing with. They will not. No, it's not. No, it never be. No, it family, family, family. These are the same people who can only see the physical world, family. They look at themselves and their life and they think when they die that they still ain't got no other place to go. It's a, it's, a, it's a shame, family. It is a shame. Let's get back into this, family. So when the angels start talking to me or anybody else, anybody, they minister to our spirit, all that good stuff we be thinking, or you be thinking, you be thinking that, that don't even come from you like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't entertain evil thoughts. Didn't the Lord say that? You know what I'm saying? Don't tend to, now that good stuff, you need to entertain that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff they be saying. You need to put some additives on it. When the angels start saying all that good stuff, you need to make it even better. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need to do. I'm holding on to our family. I might start going into a two-step when I hear the angels talking. I'm like, yes, yes, that is right. That People think I'm this smart on by myself. You know what I'm saying? How? You know what I'm saying? I told you where I come from. This is not a game. You know what I'm saying? They, they be like, oh, you too. No, you, you, you just trying to manipulate the Bible. Family, family, family. I'm as smart as my father wants me to be all glory be given to y'all they think i'm sitting up here playing a game with them they think i'm manipulating oh you just want to tickle my ear brother you just want to tickle it sounds good you just wanna... brother just listen you know what I'm saying? it's the truth now if you trying to take my money Jehosa, you trying to do something you try no i'm not family no i'm not family listen okay now angel's job is to minister to us who is the unseen forces? The people be up over there. They be hearing all that bad stuff. They be like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Who is so good? I'm going to do it. You know it's the truth, family. You know it's the truth, family. Okay, now, we must take heed to the things we have heard. 
lest we drift away from the words spoken through the angels providing steadfast in every transgression and, and disobedience receiving a just reward. That's what we get, family. If we understand what the angel is saying and hold on to it. What your brother say? Put some adjectives on it. Oh, that sound good. That's it. I'm going to do this too. This, I have to do that and make that sound good. It sound good. I need to do it like they be planning, family. They give you all kind of stuff that they be telling you. They give you, the angels give you something to hold on to. You Do you understand me? You know what I'm saying? That good minister and minister and, and to our ears when we out there in the world. When we out there in that world, family, they be just saying, shimmy, 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 Shamika, I want you to do this. Oh, sounds so cute. Oh, oh, I'm going to do this. Now Shamika feels better about herself. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, that sounds good. Now, now, Mike, he feels better about himself, family. He going to go do that. You know what I'm saying? He going to hold on to it the next day. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Now, Stephen, he has confidence now, family. Stephen has confidence and he's gone on, family. It was enough to get him through the week, family. It was enough to get him through the week, maybe even the month, family. All of that strength. He hold it on to it. He didn't cast it aside. He didn't throw it asunder, family. He seen it as a jewel, family. A precious jewel, family. That's something like, ooh, ooh, I heard all that bad today, but ooh, that sounds so good. To minister to our spirit. So let's go back up. So when they minister to our spirit, it's to get us to love God. To do all them good things. To make us even stronger. I told you, I can't make up this stuff by myself. I can't do it. I'm not y'all. I wouldn't even want to be, family. I would take that as disrespect, family. Okay, let's move to the next one. I will put my initials. Let's go back up. Okay, now we must take heed to the things we have heard. Lest we drift away from the words spoken through the angels. Providing steadfast and every transgression and disobedience receiving a just reward. If you can make it to the end, family. You know what I'm saying? If you can make it. If you can hold on, family. If you can hold on and make it to the end. You think you've seen something great in this world. You think you've seen something nice. You think you have seen it all. You ain't seen nothing yet. And they think this is a game. You, you don't even know where you, where you headed. It's greater than what you, 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 you look at my mind, family, and I could not even process how great he is, family. I'm tell you straight up, family. Couldn't even process it. Couldn't even process all that, family. Couldn't even do that, family. I would have to be in his presence. Hallelujah. All glory be given to he who lasts forever, for he is the king of all destruction. I told you, he gets a kick out of it, family. So let's get back into this. Now, this is what the Holy Spirit says. Today, if you will hear the voice, do not harden your heart as in rebellion in the days of trial in the wilderness where your fathers tested me and tried me. That's the Holy Spirit talking. So you look at these people out there and they be testing the Holy Spirit. How they be testing the Holy Spirit, Jehovah? Because they don't even want to listen to him like that, family. They don't, family. They be trying them and doing kinds of, oh, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Oh, Holy Spirit, I don't believe nothing that you told me or nothing. I got to do it. Just like that, family. It's no different from what's going on nowadays, family. I told you, they still all God's glory. So they don't even hear him like that, family. They still all his glory, so how would they be able to, uh, to hear the Holy Spirit like that and then want to do what he is asking them to do? How? How, family? Okay, now this is what the Holy Spirit said today. If you will hear the voice, do not harden your heart as in rebellion in the days of trial in the wilderness where your fathers tested me and tried me and saw my works 40, therefore I was angry with the generation and said, they always go astray in their own hearts and they have not known my ways. Family, look at people today and you tell me which one of them go after their own ways. How many of them? Half? 75%? I'm just saying, family. How many of them? Man? He, the Holy Spirit is saying they always start turning on God in, in, in their heart. 
Because they do the same thing to the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? They do the same thing to him, family. What I told you. He wants to be, you got to respect him no different than you respect Yah. And Yah ain't playing with you about the, the Holy Spirit. If you really, if you really want to make him mad, you know what I'm saying? You want to start making him mad, start, say the Holy Spirit ain't doing his job. Or say Jesus didn't do his job. Say it. Say it. You know what I'm saying? I dare you. You know what I'm saying? Say it. You know what I'm saying? You know better than that. You know what I'm saying? You really want to make him mad? You want to offend him now. Do you want to make him mad now? You know what I'm saying? Nah, we're not doing that. We love him, family. Father, thank you for your son. Yeshua, thank you for your father. Father, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. All my brothers and sisters, go ahead and throw your hands up. Yah, I bless the fruits of their mind, their body. I ask that you strengthen them, Father. I ask that you bless the fruits of their body, to keep them strong or free of any disease. And I ask that you keep their mind strong, Father. Yah, I ask that you bless all of us with your holy presence. Yah, we thank, we come to you as thankful children, for you are our great Yah. You are our great God. We bless your name, for you are worthy. Father, I ask that you bless them with your strength. Father, I ask that you protect them. Father, I ask that you show them favor. Father, I ask that you pour down all your mercy upon them. I ask that you lift them up. I ask that you teach them. I ask that you enter into their heart, into their soul. Father, I ask that you make that light that you put in this grow, Father, and be more hungrier for your truth of your righteousness and what we live on. For you are a great God. All glory be given to you. Thank you for your son, Yeshua HaMashiach. We also call him Jesus Christ. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah. Thank you, Father, for all you have done for us. For, for you are great, Yah. For you are great, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, y'all. For you are holy. For you are worthy. Blessed be your name. For you are worthy. You can put your hands down. Blessed for you are worthy, Father. For you are a worthy God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Bless all my brothers and sisters out there. Bless all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. All the stuff that they're going through. I ask that you, you are with them now. Hallelujah. For you are a great God. All glory be given to you, y'all, Father. Thank you to all my brothers and sisters who bless me as well. All glory be given to y'all. For he is worthy. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah, for he is worthy. Blessed be his name forever and ever and ever. Now, okay, now, in rebellion in the days of the trial in the wilderness where your fathers tested me, they tried me and saw my works 40 years. Therefore, I was angry with the generations and said, they also go astray in their hearts and they have known, have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. See, you could, you would think that you couldn't make the Holy Spirit mad. You think he playing games with you. You think this is a joke and even the Holy Spirit will kick you out of heaven. You know what I'm saying? He will kick you out. Out, you know what I'm saying? He will toss you out, you know what I'm saying? He looking at you, you know what I'm saying? You're doing all of that evil. You sitting over there thinking, oh yeah, God just watching me. I told you, Jesus watching you too, you know what I'm saying? You, I don't know what them people told you. I ain't, I'm just saying, family, you got him up over here and he's ready to kick. He be ready to kick people out. He's saying, nah, nah, I wouldn't even let you come in heaven like that. Uh-uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh-uh, listen to what he said, family. This is all the words from the Holy Spirit, family, of what he said, family. Okay, your fathers tested me and tried me and saw my works 40 years. Therefore, I, I was angry with that generation and said, they also go astray in their hearts and they have not known my ways. So I swear on my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. What is the rest, Jehosa? Heaven, family. Heaven is the rest, family. And the Holy Spirit will boot kick you out, family. He will fill upon you out. Out, family, he will grab the the uh the golf racket and racket you out, family. You know what I'm saying? He's not playing that, family. He ain't playing with nobody like that. You can make him mad. We're not talking about Yahshua. You can make you can make Yahshua mad by the sins you be doing to him, and that's different from God. But you be making him, people be making him mad, and they don't even think that he a force that they got to deal with. Or, oh, 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 I don't believe in the Holy Spirit, and I don't believe. Did you hear what he said? You know what I'm saying? Did you hear what he said? That's all what he said. You know what I'm saying? That's what he said. Can't no scholar in the, anywhere in this world tell me I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's what the Holy Spirit said. So who you going to listen to? You going to listen to what that person said? Or you going to listen to the Holy Spirit said that he getting ready to kick, kick them out, family? I mean, Phil punt them out, family.
family that he wouldn't even let you come around y'all like that. He not playing with none of us. He gets mad. His wrath, his anger. He, okay now, we all know the most high God is an inflaming fire. Fire. You know what I'm saying? He's an inflaming fire. He's like atomic bombs going off one after another. He's all this power, family. You know what I'm saying? So just imagine if you made the Holy Spirit mad. That's got to be at least like a volcano or some family. At least like five dragons spitting out fire, family. I'm just saying, family. You done made him mad, family. No, I didn't. No, he can't. All right. All right. All right. Don't think he can't kick you out, family. Okay, now the generations and said to all, always go astray in their hearts, and they have not known my ways. I told you, family. Look at them people out there, family. It's no different from now. He, they're making him mad, just like your people of old days of at, at antiquity, just like back in the day, family. Same days now. They in, in his wrath. That pfft, mad family. That's why they be going through it. Okay, I swore on my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. And he just not he's not he's just not talking about promise a land or having a he's talking about he's just not talking about going to heaven. The Holy Spirit is all around us. He will make your life hard, family. You will think the mother people, I don't care what they said, family. What did the Holy Spirit said, family? He he's not just talking about you entering the rest, family. He talking about your life as well, family. So what are you saying, Jehoshaphat, that he will make your life rough, family? He will make your life hard, family. And you be like, no, he don't. No, he don't. No, he... All right, family. All right, family. So I swore on my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. And he's just not talking about the promised land or having a good long life or of rest. We must exhort... Let's move to the next one. We must exhort one another... One another daily, while it is called today, least any of you hearten through the deafness of sin. So, anytime you see a, a child of God, doesn't matter, doesn't matter who they are, where they are, what their name is, it really doesn't matter, family. When you see that person, you are supposed to try to lift them up, family. Family, I'm not talking about being in church now, family. I'm talking about actually being out in the world amongst all the people, family. When you see, you you know who followers of, of, of Yahshua is. You know what I'm saying? You know who, because we, we walk different, we act different, we talk different, and we love the Lord. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to forsake him like that, family. We ain't trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? So there is a difference, family. There's a difference in people. So when you come across one of us, our job is to, I, I got to try to lift you up. The best way I can, you know what I'm saying? With the love of your father, with the peace of your father, and with the understanding of your father. While I still can, family. While I still can, family. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The day is coming up short for, for this whole world, family. While you still can. That's why the Lord said, while you still can, you know what I'm saying? So I feel very comfortable for if we don't, family, if we don't do these things, family, and we don't try to lift our brothers up out in the streets, you be seeing all them pretending people. You see them pretending Muslims, them pretending Hebrews, them pretending Christians, them pretending Catholics, and they don't know how to love, family. They don't, family. They wear the clothes, family, but they ain't doing it, family. They ain't doing it. They ain't expressing the love, family. I don't know where they at, family. You know what I'm saying? It's our job to lift one another up. You know what I'm saying? So what's going on, family? No, I didn't say all of them, family. I didn't say all of them. But they're in there, family. And you know who the real ones is, family. You know who the real ones. This ain't no game. This ain't no joke, family. They ain't got nothing good. They always tearing you down. They always got that other stuff. And they looking at you crazy. They can't wait to judge you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You got on the Christian judge. You, oh, Brother? Brother? You got on the Christian shirt and you sitting up over there judging me. You know what I'm saying? You really looking down at me, brother. I thought you said that you would. Hebrew! Hebrew! Hey, you got on your tunic and everything, brother! You got on the, and you judging me, brother. You know what I'm saying? So you tell me what's going on, brother. Muslim, brother. Brother Catholic, brother. They out there, family. They out there, family. So when you see a real one like me, family, 
and my other brothers and sisters out here in the world. It's our job to lift each other up, family. We're not like them fake ones, family. I told you they got a whole lot of hate. They be looking at me all crazy and stuff. They don't even really know what love is because they don't know how to express it, family. They be in church all the time, family. All the time, family. With all that damn hate. All that damn deceitfulness, family. They got all that damn deceitfulness on them, family. We got to exhort each other, family, so we don't fall in the deceit. The fall in it. Has, has all, please, please, please don't exhort yourself. Don't talk good, Tina. Please, Billy. Please, Mike, please don't say nothing good at all. Don't exhort no damn body. Don't exhort. Yes, I want you miserable. I want you sad. I don't want them blessings for you. See, 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 that's what happens. They don't know how to talk to you, family. They don't know how to exhort nobody. They're over there looking at you with the fish eye, brother. With the fish eye, brother. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, he was sitting over there looking with my eye. Why his face was all turned up like that? Like he was sitting there eating on some cheese and it went the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? So you see them. They ain't got nothing good for you like that. And don't say nothing bad, family. That ear whoo, swell all the way up, family. Now, what is this right here? Um, Let me ask you a question. What is the one thing... That Yah can't do. You call him God, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of all creations, the God of the heavens and the earth. What is the one thing that he can't do? That was quick for a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all was fast. You right. You know what I'm saying? You right. But for the other ones who don't know, Yah cannot lie, family. I go ahead and throw a bonus in for there for you. He's faithful too. You know what I'm saying? Not only does he don't lie, he is faithful. So if he is faithful, he has taught me that every single thing that he has told me comes to pass. So I want you to think about all that cool stuff that y'all be telling you that he going to do for you and yours and your life and your family. And I want you to personally know that y'all is going to do all of that. Why is that, Jehosa? Because it's one thing that God can't do. He can't lie, family. He cannot lie, family. He's incapable of lying, family. He can't, family. I don't even think I don't even think Yahshua would even try to lie to you. Yahshua would always tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? Why well, Yahshua would always tell you, be like, nah, man, I gotta tell you the truth. I'm trying to set you free. You know what I'm saying? I don't need you having them extra chains on you. you know what I'm saying? I don't want no more snares on you now. You know what I'm saying? Come over here and let me tell you something. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. He can't lie, family. He cannot lie, family. And for all my brothers and sisters out there in the world that know who the voice of Yah is, what he says, how he talks to you, just know, family, I'm telling you, family, he stays true to all of his words because he cannot lie, family. He's incapable. He's infallible of lying, family. He cannot do it, family. So remember that with all that cool stuff and all that great stuff. Now, you can doubt him all, he, all you want. You hear, me, you hear me, brother? Sister, you can doubt him. Sister, you, you, you can doubt him all you want. But he cannot lie, family. He cannot lie, family. See that that damn George Washington, he can lie to you. The damn um, Lincoln, he can lie to you, family. All them people down the street, they can lie to you, family. But he cannot lie, family. He cannot, family. So know in your life, family, and... You know now, family, he's going to do all that. I'm telling you personally, all that stuff he's going to do, given, given your season and, and his time, family, and your time, family, he's going to do all of that. You just got to stay in and be faithful, family. What I say today was February 4th, 2019. Okay, got it. Go ahead and put the initials on the other side. Okay, got that one. Bam, got that one out the way. Okay, now... Now, Paul said that Yah, he wants us to pursue peace, family. That's what he said, family. He said, in our lives, okay, now look at people and look at all the controversy and look at all the dirty and all the grind and all that stuff that they like bringing into their life, you know what I'm saying, and always being a part of. Our Father wants us to pursue peace. He wants us to have a peaceful resolution after anything, family. That's what he's, he wants us to live peaceful lives. Now, look at them people on the other side of the railroad tracks, and you tell me right now if they don't live for all the controversy, family, if they don't live for all that 
dirt, family. If they don't like all the grime, family, they don't like all the damn dirt and grime, family. They love it, family. They love all the gospeling, family. All the backbiting, family. You know what I'm All the he said, she said, family. I, I, I got to do them wrong, you know what I'm saying? They like all that stuff, family, all the time. Oh, oh, them this and that and this and that. And you know the words that they use, family. Ain't none of that peaceful, family, at all, family. That does not sound like a d- diplomacy, family. It doesn't, family. Okay, now, so you got to imagine, brother, S- sister, you, you got to imagine. He wants us to live our lives peacefully. So we have to try to apply that in our everyday lives, family. Okay, let's move to the next one. That's hard, family. Some people can't do that, family. We up over here trying to work that out, family. It's easy for us to be peaceful. You know what I'm saying? But we, we got to live in the world, family. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's still different. Okay, now. Do we have to be the parent, family? Do we have to be the parent in control? Is that what he is that what he's saying, family? Okay, Yah does not want you to be a fondicator or a profane person like Esau, who for one morsel of food sold his birthright. Now let's go back up to fondication. Whoo, that's scary, family. No, no hanky panky. No, I was thinking about it today, family. I have to throw my hand in the fire, family. I ain't trying to get in trouble, family. I ain't trying to get in trouble, family. <laughs> And then my brother's there in the back row. Who fundication Joseph? What's all Joseph? What the damn? What the hell that mean? You know what it mean, brother? No hanky panky. I can't get it in, man. I can't do it. Oh no, Joseph! Don't say it, Joseph. It ain't no fundication. I didn't say it, family. I didn't even say that, family. It's hard, brother. I'm right. My hand is in the air, brother. Sister, my hand is in the air, sister. I hear you. Oh, Joseph. Oh, brother, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I'm fundication. <laughs> My hand's still up. Shouts out to all my brothers and sisters who will be coming to the nine o'clock prayer hour. All glory be given to Yah. Hold on, family. Fondication. Here's the definition of fornication. Formal, humorous. Sexual intercourse between people not married to each other. No, Joseph! Damn it, Joseph! Why you had to say that? Why you tell me my damn Google come out here tell me I can't be getting it in? With the hanky panky. I'm getting it in, family. You can't do it, family. I'm like, no, no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be one of those fake Christians that do whatever the hell I want to do with my damn body. You can't tell me nothing. Oh, I don't know if I can make it, Joseph. You better get you a wife, brother. Do you hear me, brother? You better get you a wife. But I don't know. <laughs> My hand was up, family. I'm trying to tell you. It's hard, family. It's hard. Fondication. Fondication. For what is it? What does it mean? What did you know? Hanky panky. No sticky eggy. No getting it in. What the kids call it nowadays? What do they call it? I don't even know, family. I don't even know. We don't even need to be getting that, family. It's a damn shame, family. It's a damn shame. I just lost like so many different of my people out there. They was like, oh no, Jehosa, you tripping now, brother. You tripping, brother. I was listening to you, Jehosa, until you brought the fornication out, brother. Why you do it, brother? I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry, brother. We got to do these things. But I know, brother. I know it's hard, brother. I know. I understand. Oh, brother, damn it. I just got it with this girl. She fine. She got a big old booty, Jehosa. What I'm supposed to do now? And then some of my other brothers, I'm a grown man, Jehovah, damn, (laughs) Jehovah. See, 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 
See, okay, now, profane. Let's go back up. Okay, Yah does not want you. Let me make sure we don't time out over here. All glory be given to Yah. Shouts out to all my brothers and sisters who will be coming into the 9 o'clock prayer hour. Hallelujah. Okay, now, Yah does not want you. Oh, Jose, don't say it again, brother. Damn, brother. You said it. Don't say it again, brother. Damn, brother. Yah does not want you to be a fondicator or a profane person like Esau, who for one morsel of food sold his birthright. That's sad, family. That's sad, family. I don't know if I could do it, family. My whole birthright, family. My birthright, family. That's all my goods, family. For one more. So he don't want us to be profane people like that, family. He don't, family. He wants us to take in value of some things, family. He does, family. He doesn't want us to be no fondicators. He don't want us to be no propane, profane people, family, like Esau, family. Come on, family. Come on, family. You seen how some of them people up in your family, they were profane, family. Didn't none of that stuff mean nothing to them. Now they go crying about it. Oh, I wish I had it back. Oh, my grandma gave me this. Oh, they said I sold the damn house. Oh, he gave me the car. Oh, they got, I got the 2K plan. I sold the money. All of that, family. You know what I'm saying? All of that, family. Oh, we have four and a half acres. Yeah, that's a lot to a, to a Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? You tell a Hebrew about any acres. We have four and a five acres, Jehosa. And they sold. See, see. See, see, he don't want us being like that, family, at all, family. I told you, family, I come to preach to you. I come to gospel to your spirit. I come to pull this love on you, hallelujah, for we serve a great God. All glory be given to Yah, for he is worthy. All glory be given to Yah, for he is worthy. Okay, now, Yah does not want you to be a fondicator or profane person like Esau, who for one morsel of food sold his birthright. Yah said people act just like Esau afterwards when he wanted to inherit the blessing. He was rejected for he found no place for repentance through he sought diligently with dil um, tongue twister. Sorry, y'all. Diligently through with tears. So I'm gonna tell you like this, family. I'm gonna tell you like this. Don't be don't be at the last rope, family, because that's what God is saying, family. Even though you even though you died and you went to heaven and he he's about to kick you out, family. He don't care about you crying about it, family. He doesn't, family. He doesn't. You seen how you seen how Esau family he cried about it. He tried to make it right afterwards. It's too late, family. It's too late, family. You know what I'm saying? You got to make it right now. You know what I'm saying? You got to make it while you still got the time, family. I love so many different people don't have the time like from what they're expecting like that, family. Okay, y'all said, people act just like Esau afterwards when he wanted to inherit the blessing. He was rejected. He got rejected. His daddy rejected him over there. You gave that up, man. You gave up all that inheritance up to your brother. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't even know why people got mad at Jacob. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know why they got mad at Jacob. His brother gave up his whole inheritance like that. You know what I'm saying? Use your head. He was rejected, but that's how people be, family. They wait until the last. This is what God is saying. People wait until the last moment to get their life right. Then they, well, I can't even say the last moment they died, family. You know what I'm saying? Now they are all after the fact. Oh, God, I can do better for you. I want to go to heaven. Please forgive me. But he ain't trying to hear none of that, family. Just like Esau was re rejected. You're not going to get that. You can have all the repentance. You can look it for with diligent tears all you want. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get in if you don't try now, family. That's what y'all said how people be acting, family. He said that's how they be. He be judging them. That's how they be acting. They be crying. He don't care. They be screaming, hollering, oh, please, please, I do it. They be doing good, too, family. They be doing good, too, family. Even in that point, they be doing, I'll change everything about my life. Just give me one more chance, y'all. But he not going to give none of them no chance like that. Got to get, gotta get it together right, family. We trying down here. Okay, Yah wants you to have bravery, love. Yah wants you to entertain strangers, for by doing so, some may be unwillingly entertaining angels. Now, I'm not saying that everybody is an angel, 
in the flesh forms that you can see. I'm not saying that every single body is an angel, but you're going to come across one. You are family. I know they move around, family. You know what I'm saying? They be drifting, family. They like family. They like one of Tupac's songs or something, family. They be rolling, family. You know what I'm saying? They be getting around, family. They do, family. Like Papa's got a brand new bag from James Brown, family. They get around, family. And you're going to come in contact, family. If it wasn't a day, family, it's definitely going to be tomorrow, family. I'm just saying, family, you didn't see him down the street, but you got to the end and there he was, family. You gonna come around, family. Ain't no getting out of that one, family. So what, what is the father saying? He's saying be good to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Talk to people, family. Talk to people. Be good to people, family. Not all them people out there crazy talking to themselves, family. Now, those people we're not talking about, family. We're talking about people who got a genuine heart, family. Out there in the world, family. Anybody, family. Just as long as they ain't trying to do nothing to you, family, is what the father is saying, family. And you can't say that you, you oh, well, it's only a couple, please. You know what I'm saying? You're going to run across. Hey, it's no telling how many angels that I ran across in the flesh today. I know I have to run at least one, family. Come on now, family. I bet you I've seen some demons. You know what I'm saying? I bet you I've seen some demons. Okay, now, so what was said? Y'all wants you to have bravery, love. Y'all wants you to, let's go back, family. Y'all wants you to have bravery and love, family. Bravery, love, family. Y'all wants you to be brave, but he wants you to have love, family. He wants to, and then there go them people, oh, God wants me weak and I gotta be so damn weak. Uh-uh, God wants us to be brave. He wants us to have bravery and to have love, family. It's so what he wants, family. Okay, now, y'all wants you to entertain strangers for by doing so, some have unwillingly entertained angels. Now, I'm not saying that all of them is, family, but I'm telling you one of them could be, family. Definitely, family. In the time, you're going to see them, family. You ain't going to know it's an angel, family. Okay, moving to the next one. Don't You don't have to believe me, family. For some reason, some people think that every single thing that they think in their head came from them, family. Like, they're, like they're that damn smart or that damn evil, family. It's a damn shame, family. It's a damn shame, family. But I bet you those evil people over there, they ain't even complaining about it. As soon as that evil coming across their head, family, they didn't even think about it like that, family. It came to them, family. They was happy, family. Flip side, family, that, that goodness came to me, and I was happy about it, family, trying to hold on to it with everything that we had. Now, y'all wants you to remember the prisoner as if chained with them, those who are mistreated since you are yourself of the body of Christ. So think about that, family. As you look at just regular people, they don't have sympathy nowadays, family. They, they really don't. The only time... That you would catch some people having sympathy is is on some damn uh, a baby or a, a a kitten or something. Fam, they'd be like, oh, oh, so sweet. I'm talking about sympathy for people. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to feel sorry for some of these people. You think that they fell up on hard luck all up on their own. And I'm not talking about users and abusing people. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about them people who fall up on that hard times, family. You got to feel sorry for them, family. Just people in general, family. If you sitting there and you talking to somebody and they tell you about something that they going through and you don't feel nothing inside of your heart, you need to think, family. Do I have a heart? Do I have love? Do I have compassion? You know what I'm saying? Look at what our father is saying, family. He wants you to feel something for that person. They, they ain't nobody. Come on, family. Come on, family. They think that's weak, family. They teach each other out here in the world to laugh like hyenas, to think that that is weak, family. They geckle and cackle out like damn wolves, family, thinking that's weak. And look what our father is saying. We should feel some type of something inside. I feel, I'll be feeling bad for these people. You tell me something about your father, so I'm going to pray for you, family. You tell me something about what you're going around, family, not only am I going to feel a sense of sympathy, family. I, I, I'm going to start praying for you, family, because I feel you, family. That's some that's some sad stuff, family. I'll be sad just like them people, family. However they say it, family, come right on me, family. I'll be like, Damn. I feel you, brother. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I'm like, damn, that's some horrible stuff. Moving to the next one. So if you don't, if you don't have no heart for these people, you need to think about that, family. You gotta give in, family, to compassion, family. You you can do it, family. You can, family. 
Okay, now Yah wants you to remember the prisoner as he if as if chained with them, those who are mistreated, since you are yourself are of the body of Christ or Yahshua. Now, Yah said that the marriage is honorable amongst all the bed bed is undefiled, but fondication and adultery, Yah will judge. Ooh, I'm scared, family. You heard what y'all said. You know what I'm saying? Look what y'all said. We already talked about fondication. I was already over that, family. I was all on that, family. And I told you, family. You can't be with the hanky-panky, family. You can't be no booty call, family. Can't be... What, what do they call it, family? I'm not trying to give in, family. What do they call the hanky-panky, family? Getting it in. No, getting it in. Oh, brother, don't say it. No, brother, 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 don't say it. Brother, getting it in, brother. Sorry, brother. Sorry, brother. Sorry. What is the other one that he just don't want us to have no parts of? And it's, it's basically, to me, fondication and adultery is the damn same, family, because, okay, 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 I understand fondication. You're not married. I understand that. But you still having sex. Now, adultery is you cheating on somebody and you married, you know what I'm saying? That's still the same to me because they having sex with somebody that they shouldn't be having sex with. Let's go back up. Adultery. Here's the definition of adultery. Voluntary sexual intercourse between a married person and a person who is not his or her spouse. Ooh. <laughs> cheating, 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 cheating. So, he don't want us doing that, family. He does not want us to defile our marital beds, family. And I said those two things right there. And so many different people cannot be able to do that. They want to sleep with somebody else's wife. They want to sleep with somebody else's husband. And they can't keep themselves away from other people. I throw my hand up for I'm going to make a change, family. For we practice these things. We practice these things, family. We, we All of these things. Fondication. I told you, family. As soon as I heard about fondication and adultery, family, you better listen to what Paul said. I told you. These are acts of Paul, family. You better run it. You better get yourself a wife. You better get married. You want to do the hanky-panky? You want to get it in? You want to get the freaking freaky? You want to get the freaky freak freak You going to have to get married. And if you see it any, don't, don't listen to these American people out here talking to these fake Christians and Muslims and, and Hebrews and, and, and seven day of all these fake people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying all of them for I'm, I, those are my people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying all of them, but the fake ones that you know, I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? Don't give in to nothing. Oh, I can just do this and I can do that. What did y'all say? What did he say? You know what I'm saying? Okay. You can go over there and do whatever you want to do. I told you family. I told you, family. You didn't tell me nothing. That, see, that's why I don't like reading the damn Bible, Jehovah, because it got the damn word fondication in it. Don't you slow down, brother. Slow down, brother. Slow down. I didn't. I'm not y'all, brother. I'm not y'all. I told you, brother. I'm trying to learn, brother, to do what he said. That's why I can't be going to church and I can't even concentrate. Brother, 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 brother. Okay, let's move to the next one. I've told you so many different people. They want to have sex with another man's wife. And that woman want to have sex with another man's, another woman's man. And, and, and all those other people just want to keep on having sex with each other, family. Straight up, family. We going to get, we going to have to get married. We going to have to get married. Or, or, or. You already know. Okay, y'all said, let your conduct be without covetedness. Family, I don't understand, family. Okay, 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 okay. Now, they be up over there and they really want what that other person has, family. All of their conduct is to try to steal everything that that person has, family. Why do people act like that, family? It starts off from what they want. I see me. I know it's a place called Walmart and I can go in there and get the same thing that they got if I'm willing to work for it. So I don't understand. But you, all you that are in relationships, when the devil come after you, he he be sending them covetous people trying to steal your husbands and wives. I'm just trying to let you know. You know what I'm saying? They be thirsty, family. They be thirsty, family. They be trying everything, family. Mm. They be trying everything, family. You know what I'm saying? They be thirsty. He be sending them covetous people. They be like, oh, I got to have Tino. Oh, I want Shamika. They be like, damn, it's like 50 other Shamikas out there. And they all look the same. You can't find one of them. You know what I'm saying? No, damn it, no. I want Mike. I got to have Mike. Lady, lady, lady. It's like 50 mics in your, your area code. You can't mess with them. No, hell no. I want Shamika's mic. See? See? 
See? Covetous people, family. Covetous people. He don't want us to conduct ourselves. And, co and you think that they don't be lurking behind the shadows with all they damn evil, lurking what they covet in this family? Yes, they do, family. They be lurking all up in the shadows with, I want it. I want it. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. I want Mike's wife. I got to have her. She's so damn. I want Lisa. I want to marry. I want to take his kids. I want to take his damn job. I want to take his damn car. I want everything from. That's how they be, family. I, well, why I my mind th th God, I don't understand family you know what I'm saying I don't understand family they be murdering people up over this stuff family they be doing all kind of stuff family why is that because their whole conduct was covetedness family it's sad family it's sad family y'all said to be great for what you have great or small now I, family we up over here family and he be up over here saying, you got to go get some newer stuff because you got to get some better stuff. It's time. Go get you some more stuff. And we up over here and we thankful for what we had five years ago, family. We thankful for what we had last week, family. We have, we happy for what we have yesterday, family. So if you count all the way back, family, we thankful for all of that too, family. So we're thankful, family. We're thankful, family. Great and small, family. Great and small, family. That's how we have to live our lives. Grateful for what we have, family. Flip it, family. Them other people got all that stuff and they're not satisfied, family. Why is that, family? Because they are not grateful for what they have, family. They have to fill themselves with even more stuff, family. He don't want us living like that, family. You see the covenants, people, family. They they can go get all that stuff all themselves. Nuh-uh. Uh-uh, family. They want their other stuff, family. Then you got the people up over there, family. They got all that stuff, family. Study getting more, and it still doesn't make them happy. Let's go ahead and get a side note for tonight. All glory be given to Yah, for he is worthy. We got about 50 minutes before 9 o'clock per hour runs up. When Yah gets mad, he does not only shake the earth, but heaven as well. So people, they be all, they be all, they be thinking and stuff. They be all like, I told you, man, yeah, he mad at everybody, family, everybody, family. Even you wouldn't even think that he would be mad in heaven and heaven wouldn't be going through it. He mad in heaven, family. You be seeing all these earthquakes. I want you to, I want you to think, family. I want you to think, family. All these earthquakes that you see across this world, family, he got mad. Was it a little bit, family? Who he was mad? It was a little tiny tremor, family. Who he got mad at, family? Who was he mad at, family? Okay, now back to it. Back to it. It was an 8.8. .8. I mean, somebody really made him mad, family. But then you can only imagine what the heavens look like as well, family. Side no. For the night, when Yah gets mad, he shakes the heavens and the earth. Sod, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. Sod, no, for the night. Okay, now, why does Yah shake the earth? Yet once more, indicating the, the removal of things that are being shaken as family... I can sit here and say the strong survive all day long, but it's only his chosen will remain. Listen to what it said. Why does Yah shake the earth? Yet once more, indicating the removal as of things that are made, that things which cannot be shaken may remove. Only his children will survive. So just imagine, family, whatever he shakes, he wanted to die, family. See, you, you, you was over there and you was all like, oh, darn, that earthquake over there, it killed all them people, family. Only the strong will survive. It's sad, family, you know what I'm saying? The ones out of that bad, in that town, family, that actually did survive, family, you can't get mad at me for this is the word of God. You cannot get mad at me, family. Can't say, oh, Jehovah, you being, you illustrating this picture as him being. I told you already before I start this, he is the God of destruction. He loves destroying things, family. He loves family destroying things, family. Family, if he could, family, that all that good stuff that he put it in you, family, he would take it out of you. And this is just what I'm thinking, family. It's not in the Bible. This is just what I think. All that good stuff that you have inside of you, family, he would take that out, family. Destroy your soul and put that in another soul, family. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, family. I wouldn't even try to play with him like that. That's just what I said, family. That's not biblical, family. But I wouldn't put it past him, family. 
Like he wouldn't kill a devil and leave anything good that was left behind, family. I'm just saying, family. He burnt up the devil and it was a little midget left, family. He cool with the midget now, family. I'm just saying, family. I'm just saying. Oh, Jehoshua, that's not in the book of Revelations, brother. That's not Satan being turned down. I told you, family. The devil is the only creation in, 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 in the world that God really wants to destroy like that. He wants to destroy the heavens and the earth, yes. But far as a creation, someone that got lips and that can talk, family. You know what I'm saying? As far as a creation, you know what I'm saying? A soul. He the only one, family. Why do you think he's so damn mad, family? Why do you think he's so mad? Why do you think he like, man, I want all them people, all them humans, I want them to die in hell. If I got to get destroyed, you know what I'm saying? I want all these men and women, on the babies, oh, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? All of them to fall, you know what I'm saying? So he's trying his best, family. That's the best thing he can do for himself is to fool so many different people to get into hell and they don't even see it, family. Side note for tonight. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. Whatever shakes, the strongest will remain. I'm trying to tell you, family. You, you, you looked at that earthquake. It was bad, family. Only those people left, family. It was only those people re remaining, family. Those are God's chosen right there, family. Y'all said that it is so many angels. Okay, now another side. Uh, side note number three. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. Side note for tonight. So, I was thinking, family, I was thinking, and I know I talked about this a little bit earlier, but this is what he said. Y'all said that it's so many angels that there are innumerable companies of angels. Infinity. I tell you right now, the definite infinity means that it goes forever. You can't count it. That, that's what he said, family. He said that there's so many different angels that they're innumerable, meaning you cannot count them. They're, they're, that's like ex infinity, family. Innumerable. You know what I'm saying? Infinity, family. So you got to imagine now. This the earth. We agree on that. This the earth. Yeah, this the earth. Okay, now. um, Y'all said he cast down a third of that number down here, and that was infinity, family. So how many demons is down here, family? So... When, when you hear stories in the Bible and, and, and the demons come out, I'm legions, I'm legions, we are many, we are thousands, this is thousands in the bus. This is why, family, this is why, family, this is why it was a thousand demons in that one person. It's so many of them, you know what I'm saying? They do not roll alone, family. They, they travel and drop places, family. And when they get to their home, family, they bring other people with them family that's much more stronger than them there's so many of them family some of they be weak and they cowards so that's why they got a roll in a pack family you get 30 30 angels demons sitting there whispering in your ear family i'm just saying family i'm just saying let's go back up to what the word of y'all said Yah, this is what he said Yah said that it is so many angels there are innumerable a company of angels. What does innumerable mean? Infinity. What did y'all say before? He cast down a third of them. How many of it is an infinity? I don't know, family. But I'm letting you know right now, it is a lot of them, family. It has to be, family, for them to have the powers and be strong like that. You know what I'm saying? I told you. Some people, if they didn't have all them bad damn forces up on there, they would be able to fight a couple of them, family. But them things stick together in this strength, family, in, in one of them being all together like that, family. Taking down a person, family. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. Side note for the night. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. Side note for the night. Okay, I can go ahead and sign and date on this February the 19th, 2019. Got that covered. Okay, family, I will go up. No, we're going to finish this, family. We're going to finish this, family. We're going to finish this, family. But you know, over here in the sanctuary, it's hard preaching, family. It's hard preaching, family. Now, you said...
Okay, Yah said he will never leave you nor forsaken you. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you. It's, it's true, family. It's true, family. Even when I was out there and I didn't even know him like that. Even when I forsake him, family. I bet you I promised to him that I'll never do that again, though. But even when I didn't know him and I was out there acting a fool, what is the promise that Yah said? Yah said he will never leave, leave you nor forsake you. It's the most beautiful thing in this world because I don't know another man... Or another woman that can actually do that for any of us in this lifetime. And our father, he's been doing it since day one. Or we wouldn't be here now. I prove it to you. You here now. You know what I'm saying? If he didn't even love you like that, I don't, I don't know about that, family. He's giving you the time you need to turn to him. Please don't listen to them other people. They got my people wilding out, family. Yah said he will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man can do to you. Man do. What man can do to you. So how can you fear what man can do when your father, he protects you? You can look back at your life and see all the times that your father has saved you. And that's just a little tiny minute number of what that real number is. But he has been in your life protecting you as well, family. So I'm, I'm asking you, just like he asking you, why fear these people when God is your helper? You got to understand, family, God is your helper, family. He is, family. He said it himself. He said, I'm helping you. That's why you are alive, family. God is your helper, family. So let's go back up, family. That's why you're still alive. Yah said, he will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Can you stand here today with your brother here, Jehoshaphat Israel, and say that the Lord is your helper? The Lord is my helper, family. He is, family. He my helper, family. That's what he said, family. Is the Lord your helper? He is, huh? He your helper, huh? I will not fear what man can do. Can't, fam. Can't fear what people can do. You got to fear what Yah can do, family. For Yah has always been there for us, family. In our corner, family. Yah said, remember those who rule over you. And have spoken the words of God to you. Whose faith follows considering to outcome of their conduct. So basically... If you want to know about me, you just got to follow me. To, to know what I'm doing is to watch me. Am I doing what I say I'm doing? It's all on my conduct. You know what I'm saying? If you want to know a man is what he is, he's trying to live by his words. Whatever he says that he stands for, whatever that woman says that she stands for, they are doing those things in their lives. So you watch their conduct. If their conduct does not align up to what, what they're saying, then you might have a wolf in sheep clothing, family. There's so many of them, family. You might have a wolf in sheep clothing. You might have a false prophet. You might have a user. You might have a covetous. There's so many of them, family. There's so many out there, family. So what is a real man or a real woman going to do? They're going to stay true unto their word. That's why our father said, let your yes be a yes and your no be a no, family. And that's the life that we are trying to live, family, each and every day, family, of being men and being women of our words. To the most high Yah, family. Okay, so we did that one. Yah said, remember those who rule over you and have sp spoken the words of God to you, whose faith follow considering the outcome of their conduct. Family, my faith is building up my conduct, family. It really is, family. It is, family. It is, family. The more faith I get, the more stronger I get, family. It is, family. The more faith I get in Yah, the more stronger I get in achieving things family okay moving to the next one so i'm gonna act like it family i am family the more faith i have you see these people acting good all day long family why is that jehoshua because they are faithful people and they love yah okay let's let's move to the next one yah said not to be carried away with various and strange doctrines for it is good that the the heart be established by grace not food which have which have not profited those who have been occupied with them. 
So look at all them. Look at all them then from damn doctrines, family. Is it working, family? It's not working, family. You seen them? The people they went down to their seminar. They read from they people stole their money from. They went down. This is how you sell a house. This is how you buy real estate. Same thing, family. Went in there. It's it's only working for that person, family. But it ain't working for nobody else, family. But in this case, family, it's not even working for them, family. They come down to the damn seminar, family. It's not even working for them. All them false doctrines, family. It's not working for them people like that, family. And they fade away, family. They fade away, family. The occupants of with whoever the, the 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 false doctrine is. Let's go back up. Y'all said not to be carried away with the various and strange doctrines. Family, that's all them damn different doctrines out there, family. Family, they will believe anything, family, in the doctrine just because a man said it, family. They will, family. They will believe, well, well, this and this and this and this. I can sit up here. No, 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 no. We're going to read the scriptures. Then you figure out what, how you going to go about this. You know what I'm saying? You. You. I'll tell you how what I think and what I feel about it, family. But what, what did the scriptures say, family? We're going to ride off on that, family. All of our things go. Forget what I think, family. Forget how I feel, family. The, the, the scriptures, family. That's not going to change, family. I can think and I can feel however, family. I can, family, but I better be doing what the scriptures is saying, family. It's good to talk about, family. And that's building up faith for you to follow, family, but we following the scriptures and what it said, family. Okay, let's move to the next one. I don't have to worry about nobody else's doctrines or getting confused or none of that other stuff. I'm just going to stick to what the Bible says, family. I can think and feel whatever I want. And that's what them people be up over there. And what you think and what you feel. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? That's good. We could talk about that in everything, family. But what did the Bible say? That's what you better be doing. And I have always preached this. You know what I'm saying? But people just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now, Yeshua sanctified the people with his own blood. He suffered. I'll tell you right now, family. So many different people will not take advantage of Yeshua and his precious blood. They won't do it, family. They won't, family. He suffered for us and everything, family. He sanctified me, family, through his precious blood. But so many different people don't even want to know him like that. Okay, let's keep it moving. Therefore, let us go forth to him outside the gates, bearing his reproach. Let, let me stop. Let me stop right now. If you say that you love Yahshua and you don't have his reproach, what he went through, what he's what he went through in, this, in his life, then that's a problem, family. I'm just saying, family, this, this is not... Are you sanctified, family? You're not sanctified if you're not going through what he went through, family. You must be the one who's doing all of that stuff. Those people who's doing all of that stuff, they're not sanctified, family, or they should have a reproach. They should have his reproach. Let's go back up. Yeshua sanctified the people with his own blood. He suffered. Therefore, let us go forth to him outside the gates bearing his reproach the fruits of your lips for here we have not continued the city but we seek that one one to come therefore by them let us continually offer the sacrifice of praises to god that is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to yah so what is the fruits of our lips the fruits of our lips what is the fruits of your lips Anytime I sit up here and pray, anytime I sit up here and worship, anytime I sit up here and glorify, anytime I magnify, anytime I exhort his name, anytime I show my obedience and grace, I am showing you the fruits of my lips. And my, my the fruits of your lips better be praises to the Most High God. Family. Some people up over there, they don't even got juicy fruits on their lips, family. They looking kind of ashy, family. They ain't got no fruits, family. They look like a desert to them, family. You know what I'm saying? They ain't saying nothing good about Yah. They ain't praying to Yah. They ain't getting on his knees. They ain't telling nobody about him. They ain't saying how good he been. They ain't saying what he did. For you are a great God. Blessed be your name, Father. You are worthy. Thank you for all the things that you have brought me out of. Thank you for all the things that you have blessed me with. Thank you for all the things that you have taught me, for you are a great God. So they don't have no fruits of their lips, family. They ain't praising y'all like that, family. They ain't thankful for him at all, family. 
Okay, January 4, 2009. Got it. Hit that one. Okay. Non invaded. Oh, I'm a, I call it this one because I label. Okay, I read the scriptures, but I label them something else, family. Like when I read this scripture, I automatically called it non non valid. You know what I'm saying? Non valid. That's what I called it. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and read it. Now let us hold fast to the confession of our of our hope without you wavering. For who he who promised is faithful. So, family, your love for God, you, you got to hold on to that, family. You do, family. That's your own confession, family, of you, family, your faith, family. What is being said, we're getting into Zion, family, as long as we hold fast, family, without wavering. Family, I told you, they like to straddle the fence, family. They go in the house, out the house, in the house, out the dust. I believe you, yeah. No, I don't, yeah. I believe you, yeah. No, I don't, yeah. I need you. No, I don't. I need you. No, I don't. I got to have you. No, I don't. I love you. No, I don't. I love you. I hate you. Love Love you, hate you, love you, hate you, family. No, family. Wavering, family. Wavering, family. Going ahead, back to them damn dead fruits again, family. Wavering, family. You got to hold fast, family. So many different people can't hold on to their love of y'all like that. This year, they be talking about them. Next year, they be doing their own thing. Three years, they be into something else, family. Four years later, family, they look at you crazy. Five years, they want to get back into it, family. Wavering, family. Wavering, family. Okay, let us hold fast. The confession of our lips without the wavering of who he has promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works. Let me, let me, hold on, family. Look at your people and you tell me if they're doing that. Are they looking at each other with love? Are they trying to lift each other up, family? We, from black demons to bougie demons to all kind, it's all kind of stuff, family. It's all kind of different Hebrews, families, for real, family. I told you we are set apart, family. We ain't even like them. My father reminds me all the time, family, all the time, family. Yeah, you trying to love them and all of that good stuff and all of that, but not all of them are your people like that. They not my people like that. You know what I'm saying? He be telling me all the time. I be looking at some black people and I be thinking they be God's people. You know what I'm saying? They look like me. They sound like me. We come from the same place, but they do not belong to him, family. They do not, family. They do not belong to him at all. Not even a little bit like that, family. Okay, now, not forsaking... Now, he who promised is faithful. And let us consider an another in order to stir up love and good works. So let me ask this. Is your people doing that? Okay, you know the answer to that. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as in the manner of some, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Okay, we talked about that. But it was so good I had to bring it back. Hallelujah. For it will, for it, if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there is no remission, a sacrifice for sin. Jehosa, 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 brother. What that read it back, Jehosa? What? Jehosa, what that means, Jehosa? When you receive the Holy Spirit and you go back out there and you be sinning, there is no more forgiveness. That's what I put this directly from scripture. You can't argue with the word, family. You can't argue with this. You know what I'm saying? You can't say, oh, I want to argue. It's not the truth. I'm not here to argue. I'm here to preach to you. I'm here to teach you. I'm here to gospel to your spirit of his heavenly truth, family. I'm here to bear my very sp my soul and the love that I get for, family, and to sit down in the sanctuary, family. I'm not here to lie to you or hurt you or nothing like that, family. So ain't none of these words come from me like that. All of this come from sin, from, from the Father. So, I thought them people taught you that for, that you got forgive for everything. Uh-uh. That's not what Yeshua is saying. You know what I'm saying? If you go out there willingly knowing that you were sinning, there's no forgiveness for you. No, it's not Jehosa. I don't want to grow up no more. I don't need no damn milk. I'm worse than a baby, Jehosa. What, what? Say it. Damn, say it again. Listen, listen, listen. 
And let us consider. No, I go all the way up to it. I go all the way up, family. Let us hold fast the confidence of our of our hope without wavering. For who we have who has promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves to together. As in the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much more as you see the day approaching. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there is no longer remains a sacrifice for sin. You know what I'm saying? What does that mean? What do you mean? No, no, Jehovah, he talking about they would have to put on goats and, and put on rams and sacrifice that on the altar and it had to be unblemished, brother. No, brother. No, no. Not even Jesus is going to save you from this one. Not even, not even, there is no sacrifice for it. There's nothing, no blood, nothing shed for it, family. Not even Jesus can save you on this one, family. Because you willfully know what was wrong and you turned your back on God. Let's go back up. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there, there is no longer remains a sacrifice of, of, for the sin. Jesus can't help you, family. He's not there for you no more, family. He's not, family. He's not, family. You don't have to believe me, family. He can't help you on that one, family. Okay. How we are now, now this is now I labeled this one. So I, I, I labeled it non and void. What was non and void, Jehosa? The people up over there and they got the knowledge and then they still slip back up into that world and they, they got one foot in, one foot out, they're halfway doing it, halfway living it, family. Nah, family. And you think you're going and some people think they're gonna get forget for that? No, family. What did the scriptures say, family? I didn't I didn't make that up, family. I didn't I didn't I didn't write the Bible, family. Who are you going to believe, family? Would you either believe Paul the Apostle, family? Or are you going to believe somebody that that that's nowadays, family, that told you that there's forgiveness for everything like that? Uh-uh. Already told you. Some of the sins that you do, you could sin directly against Jesus. And then somebody be like, who Jesus think he is? He think he the God. He think you God. Uh-uh. 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 He's our Savior. And there's some sins that are different, family. You could sin directly to God or is it to Jesus? Which one are you disrespecting this time? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to disrespect none of them. I don't want to disrespect my Lord or my Master. I can't. I don't want to do that, family. Okay, let's go back up. Okay, I call it this one the the uh devour that the adversaries. That's what I labeled it, family, as I read it, family. The devour the adversaries. Okay, you have died believing you have you Ah, tongue twister again. You have to die believing in Yah. So many people die and they die without believing in Yah. Can you imagine that family? Can you imagine, family, that so many people will die? Family, tomorrow, family, tomorrow, when tomorrow comes, family, I'm going to tell you, a healthy number of them people did not believe in God at all, family. They didn't, family. Death comes unexpectedly, family. Unexpectedly, family, to some people, family. To some people, family, they don't even got him in their life like that. So it comes very unexpectedly, family, to them, family. They died not believing in God. If they knew that God was really real, they would have been working really hard to believe in him while they were still alive, family. So you have to die. Some people don't. When they die, family, they didn't believe in God like that, family. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. They knew of him but didn't know him, family. Family, they had the opportunity, family, to love him, to cherish him throughout their soul, their whole courses of their life, no matter how much time that he gave them, and they died not believing in him. It's sad, family. Let me let me go on, because I can't believe this, family. This is a damn tragedy, family. You mean to tell me, family, that somebody will really die, family? And, and, and their whole life, family, their whole life, family, they believed all the stuff that the scientists said, family. All of the circulatist people, family. All them people over there at NASA, family. All, 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 all them people, family. The behavior of scientists and all of them people, family. They never believed in him like that, family. It's sad, family. Therefore, from one man and him, as good as dead, were born as many as the stars of the sky and multitudes, innumerable as the sands, which is by the seashore. 
These all died forth not having received the promise, but having seen them from afar, were ushered of them, embraced them, and they was, I'm sorry, afar off were assured of them, embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims. Family, I'm a pilgrim on this world, family. This is not my planet like that, family. And you'd be like, whoa, whoa, Jehosa, you a space creature. No, nah, family, if you look back, family, all the great patriarchs, even Jesus himself, knew that he was a pilgrim on this planet, family, like that, family. They did not see this place as a home like that, family. For God has something so far great for us that we could never even imagine how great it is, family. So they, they looked at their lives. They knew, family, they knew within themselves, family, that heaven exists, family. They knew that the place that they were going, family, was more better than the place. They didn't, they didn't get to live on heaven, on earth, family. They seen, they seen, they seen this from far away, family. Because they had faith, family, and they believed, family. They died believing in God. Let's go back up, family. Okay, therefore, from one man and him, who's the one man? Jacob, family. Therefore, from one man, Jacob, and him, as good as dead were born as many as the stars of the sky and multitudes innumerable as the sands which is by the seashore. Those all died, died faith, not having received the promise, but having seen from, from afar, from f far off were assured of them, embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Yah is ashamed of some people. Now let's stop. So if you really believe in Yah, family, just like any of the great people that came before us, you have to be, know that this is not our home like that, family. That's why it's hard like that for us, family. It is, family. It is, family. I told you, we are partaking it up, up over here, family. I know exactly what the Lord be talking about, family. I, I, I'll give you an example, family. Uh, be, back in the, back in the, before, family, I did not know why the Lord say in, in like Timothy, why they said, family, uh, please forgive them for they know not what they do, family. They don't know how bad. I know how the God be tearing people up now. That's why I be saying that, Father, to all my people out there. You hear me, family? Now I know, family. Why the master said that. They don't even know what Yah is going to do to them like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why, they, why he said that. Forgive them. You know what I'm saying? Please, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. If they knew what they was doing, they would have never done it, family. If they knew what God was going to do to them, they would have never done it, family. Okay, now strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Okay, we finished that one. Okay, Yah is ashamed of some people. So... It's how it is, family. He's ashamed, family. He's a, he is ashamed, family, of some people, family, and them same people that he is he, that he's ashamed of, family. They say, "Well, you know, Father, I love you, and you, my God." That's what they say. That's what they say to him. Ashamed. Here's the definition of assume: supposed to be the case without proof. Ashamed. Here's the definition of ashamed. Embarrassed or guilty because of one's actions, characteristics, or associations. God gets embarrassed at people of, of, of their, of their, what, what did she say? Ashamed is to feel guilty because of the actions or characteristics of another person, family. Embarrassed, family. You could never imagine that the, the God of heaven now, he probably love them, family. And whatever they doing, whatever his child is doing, he they're embarrassing him, family. He feels the feeling. How do you feel when you embarrass, family? For some people embarrass God, family. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. I'm up over here. I'm looking like his fool. And they up. I'm up over here. I'm his fool, family. I'm making him laugh, family. You know what I'm saying? He see me up over here gossiping to your, your, your spirit, family. He see me preaching, family. I'm a fool in his eyes, family. But some people, ashamed, God, he feels ashamed of them, family. He might still love them, family. It's still his child, family. But he keep on checking in on Mike. And Mike is not doing so good, family. Whatever he might be doing. In his sin, family. Okay, now, I only got a couple more, family. And I know we carried forth in the sanctuary really long here, family. But I told you, this is hard preaching, family. 
This is hard teaching, family. This is hard gospel to your spirit, family, of everything, family. We, with the rest of this, this is one complete book of the Bible, family, even though I told you I label things differently, family. The Acts of Paul the Apostle, you know what I'm saying? I want you to read the Bible, family. I want you to look up in these things and be like, oh, well, nah, it wasn't that. And I read here. And yeah, I could give you this exactly where, where I'm getting this from. But I want you to read as well, family. I thank you for spending time with your brother here in the sanctuary, family. But I want you to study for these things out to see them for yourself. It's good that you listening and I'm ministering and you growing and all of that stuff. But I need you to read too, family. And I need you to build up your faith, family. All glory be given to y'all. Your brother, I got love for you. I need you, family, to do this with me, family. Let me give all my brothers and sisters a personal challenge out there in the world. I challenge you tomorrow, either it be the fifth or the sixth, it doesn't matter. Tomorrow, whenever you get this message, if you love Yeshua, you also call him Jesus Christ. If you love Yeshua, I want that a smile on your face all single day, family. I do, family. I want if you love Yeshua, I, I'm I'm giving you some homework, family. I'm giving you some homework I want you to do tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? In your day, my brothers, in your day, my sisters, when you think, when you think, when you think about your love for your Yah, when you think about your love for your Yahshua, I want that smile on your face all single day long. If you love Yahshua, you also call him Jesus Christ, I want you to keep a smile on your face and enjoy the spirits all tomorrow. Can you do it, family? Can you fight for this one? Can you fight for this one, family? I told you, they got the demon on their face, family. Straight up, family. They got all that damn evil in them, family. They got all that damn spirits coming off of them and stuff, family. That's what they coming off of them, family. I want to see Jesus come through your smile. Do you hear me? You know what I'm saying? I want to see Jesus come through through your grace. You know what I'm saying? I want to see your love, family. I want to see your smile, family. So uh, I got some homework, family, for you tomorrow, family. If you love Ye Yeshua, family, I want you to keep a smile on your face, family, for he is the only reason why I'm smiling. Hallelujah for his glory. Hallelujah for his grace. Hallelujah for his mercy, for he is a great God. Oh, uh, family, we got 14 minutes running up. Let's Okay, let's continue this now. Okay, we talked about that. Yah is ashamed of, of some people, and truly, it's... They had called to mind that country from which they had come out. They would have had opportunities to return. But now they desire a better that it is a heavenly country. Therefore, Yah is not ashamed to be called their God, for he prepares a city for them. So I tell you right now, family, if you don't love God and you don't want to go to, to heaven, God is ashamed of you, family. He is, family. He is. Look at the great patriarchs, family. He set up heaven for them and everything like that. They knew they was going to heaven. As soon as they heard about it, family, they got that faith up knowing that they was going to that place. Don't let these people lie to you. God is very much let me, Jesus is the same Jesus that he was 2,000 years ago family God is always the same family it's just still the same family nothing changes family still burning family they didn't even want to take a chance out on y'all like that it's a it's a sad dealing family it's a sad dealing Yah does not want you to forget to share and do good things for with such sacrifice God is pleased so anytime you do something good Anytime you want to share something good, anytime you want to do something good, anytime you want to help somebody, anytime you want to lift somebody up, you know what I'm saying? Anytime you want to bless somebody with something, my father told me, he said, accept all the stuff that they, that they, people are going to start giving to me. He said to do your good is a sacrifice, family. It is a sacrifice, family, is what he's saying, family. It pleases him, family. It makes him feel good, family. You know how you feel good when you do something that you like? That's how he feels when he sees your sacrifice of you doing something good, family. And all you got to do is share, family. All you got to do is share, family, have love, family, try to help, family. That's a sacrifice to y'all, family. Okay, let's move to the next Next one. Obey those who rule over you and be submissive for they watch out for your souls as of some one who must give account. Let them do so with joy and not with grief for that would be unprofitable to you. Family, you need to really be listening to me, family. You really do, family. You need to listen, family, and learn, family. 
Because I love you, family, and I'm trying to teach you right, family. I'm trying to do all the things, family, that you never learned because I got my father with me. I am not alone. I got my master and I have his Holy Spirit. So I am not alone, family. I cannot do this by myself, family. Now, what what would it be profit you if I can't do my job if you can't listen to me, family? You got to listen, family, and implement all these different things, family. I'm up over here telling you all this stuff, family, because I know, family. I'm, I'm up over here like, I got to give account for you, family. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to give account for you, family. You got to be learning, family. What was said? Obey those who rule over you and be submissive for they watch out for your souls. Family, I love you. And I'm trying to watch out for your soul over here with the truth of someone who must give account. Let them do so with joy and not with grief, for that would be unprofitable for you. All them sad old preachers, family, you know, they be all sad, got you all sad and all stressed out. You need to think about that. Why he's sad for? Where's his joy at? You know what I'm saying? Where's his happiness at? Where's his heart at? You know what I'm saying? Why the first lady, she got a frown on her face like that? You know what I'm saying? How is that going to profit at you, family? I'm just saying, these are the words of y'all, not my own. Okay, let's move to the next one. Now... Now, may the God of peace who brought up the Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, though the through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete and every good works to you. His will working in you is well pleasing in his sight through Yeshua to whom be glory forever in his name. I'm sorry. Pleasing in his sight. To whom the glory be forever. Amen. Now that's just how I feel about your, your master. That's how I feel about him. For what it says. That's what he is family. Listen to, listen to it again. Now may the God of peace. Who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead. That great sheep herder of sheep. Through the blood of. Of the everlasting covenant make you complete and every good works to you, his will working in you, what is well pleasing in the sight through Jesus Christ to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen to our father. Yah. that's just how I feel about him, family. I just have to rip that out the Bible because that's how I feel about him, too, family. He's that great sheep herder. I know I know Yahshua got my back, family. I know he got my back. I know he with me. I know he keeping me on the right path. You know what I'm saying? Because I love him. You know what I'm saying? Them people don't want to do right, family. We up over here trying to do right, family. Now we got a side note, and I'm going to go ahead and get out the sanctuary for tonight. All glory be given to Yah, for he is worthy. Side note for the night. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Side no for the night now yeshua promised for we know him who said vengeance is mine i will repay says the lord and again the lord will judge his people a lot of people don't a lot of people don't think that a lot of people don't think that yeshua is gonna mess them up for what they did to you a lot of people don't think that jesus gets gets a kick out of hurting people if, if vengeance is yours, that means you like to do stuff to people. Now, he said, now we all know that vengeance is in the eyes of the Lord. He likes to hurt people. But I forgot. They taught you that Yeshua is all forgiving. He's all merciful. He's all of that, all of that stuff. Mm -mm. He's vengeful too, family. Vengeance is in the eyes of the Lord, family. He likes playing people. People don't think Jesus be out doing things to people, family. They don't, family. They don't think it at all, family. And what did the what did your book say, family? What did the word of God say that Yahshua will repay, family? Yahshua is gonna repay. You seen all them things them people were saying and doing to you? They gonna have to worry about Yahshua and what he gonna do to them about that. What is he gonna do to them? He's gonna pay them for for their recompense, family. Side note for the night, Jesus gonna pay him back, don't even worry about it. Side note number two. Uh. I'm sorry. Yah corrects us when we are about to mess up. 
to teach us. This is all part of keeping our feet on the right path. Now, I said that, family, but a lot of people will not believe. They heard the scripture all the time, and they was like, what do you mean, Jehosa? Yah is always correcting me in anything that I do, but I want him to, family. You can look at my life in every single thing that I want to do, and if it's okay with him, I, how can I explain this? Anything that I do, he's going to tell me to do it, family. Yah is always correcting me. If I'm about to make a mistake, he's going to say, Oh, son, don't do that, son. Oh, son, don't do that, son. Do it like this, son. No, son, you're going to mess yourself up. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Do it like this. You know what I'm saying? If you a true believer, in, I can't do that by myself, family. I can't correct my own stuff like that, family. I can't come up. For some people, they be thinking they are genius and stuff. No, family. I give all glory to God, family. I can't correct my own self, family. I believe in him, family.